It is a world of darkness. The sin of Cain has spawned the cursed horror that stalks the night in search of living blood. The kindred have long been a secret influence through all ages of human history, plotting against each other in a never-ending jihad. Their immortal progeny are among us to this day, hidden from the eyes of humanity by an elaborate masquerade. What up, my man the cab driver? We're going to Alistair Grout's place. Going somewhere? Yes, Alistair Grout's place. Eh, what the fuck? You. What are you doing here? Yo, Nines, what's up? Out now. What, are you looking into Grout's disappearance too? You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. Uh, maybe for you, <laughs> Maybe for you, but for a badass like me! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say that to the guy who saved my life twice. Uh, man, Nines was acting fucking weird, right? And not talking like Nines and... It, 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 no. Got stuck in the floor. Wow, this place is bad news. Let's try and get out of the front yard and into the house. Okay, so this is Alistair Grout's mansion. It is filled with... These ghouls, who are all the results of him basically spamming and abusing his dementation power. They're not, they're not doing great, I guess what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I would like to do some commentary on this place, but uh, sleep. But I think I'll let Alistair Grout do his own commentary, because this place is riddled with one of my f with one of my favorite video game storytelling tropes. <laughs> I love that Japanese music. Ow! Ooh, these guys do aggravated damage. Flee! Flee, mortal! Ow, come on. There we go. Yeah, he's got audio logs. So I'll just start playing them and you guys can listen to them. They're pretty crazy. He is a Malkavian. It is quite peculiar that That's a portrait. I've been made to That's what he looks like. For my supernatural longevity. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular oh. of unique interest to my station both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopintalism, and the rest of the old guard has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent death. <sighs> no, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my... Hold on. I'll, I'll let you keep going, bro. Weakapog Thistle. This petrified reed was not meant to fall into the hands of one of the damned, but vampires can benefit. Increases defense by one point. Nice. My parents and my genitals. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay my course. In time, too, may your star fade and disappear. So this guy doesn't like, uh, Sigmund for, for the wrong reason, because he's holding on to even more outdated forms of psychology. Perception is at once 
at once shapes the mind and rules over time. Time, however, erodes human perception and then warps the mind. The mind is capricious, having various effects on perception, time, and the mind itself, with harmony progress is made. So we got perception, time, mind. Oops, I keep making that mistake. Perception. Ah, there we go! You can't hide your secrets from me, Grouts! I am a Tremere. We hunt secrets, devour them! Another unfortunate casualty to Tide of Time insane asylums. I lament their loss. Yeah, he's not going only there. As brokerage houses for the breadth and depth of human psychosis, but also I shall mourn the disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable atmosphere of blistered brains and churning bowels, the odiferous melange of freely flowing bodily humors, that gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs and screams. The muttered cursing of his eat enemies and the blissful gurgling of the lobotomized, like a newborn babe discovering the sky. <laughs> I shall still find test subjects as surely as I find bloody sustenance in the night, but this climate, I fear, may never be replicated. Good. Seriously, fuck this guy. Hey, I haven't done blood purge in a while. Let's do blood purge. That should kill her. Why didn't that kill you? Okay. There we go. More of these babies. Huh. Already open. So yeah, this place is like... This place is kind of like the Winchester Mystery Mansion, but on way more drugs. Okay. Alright, moving on. I think there's another audio tape around. Oh, there's just a guy. Larp, he did. Yeah, here it is. Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my. Is this guy gonna attack? No, Had he's dead. Oh, there's one here too. Okay, we're just gonna the sit here and listen. Locking her in the roaming pen. What I would give for just one interview, a few simple questions of the plague-ridden woman who met her end that dawn. Of course, there is no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects, mewling wretches. Few could be called enthusiastic. Given the nature of the tests, I cannot expect the same fervor from all, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated. Animals. The one called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. I still hear him scurrying about at night. He must be making an atrocious mess in there. Next one. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired in a foul ennui as my wife's illness advances. My subjects this is where I learned to pronounce on supervision, we. but I cannot pull myself back from this black depression. How many nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower walk, pondering the frailty of existence. Dark, 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 dark. Ah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Do you mind if I just... Nope. <laughs> I gotta stop finishing him off with blood track. I'm gonna run out of blood at this point. Okay, there should be another audio log around here. I think no. Oh, there's a guy. And there's a lady. Please, not all at once. There's plenty of splarf to go around. Okay, I'm full. Fuck! <laughs> Ouch. Ouchies. Okay, you did. Alright, there's a- Oh, there's two! Just 
starting to become a really powerful Tremere. All right, I don't know the way out of this room, or I don't remember. That way is locked. Um, maybe this way? Okay, this is promising, and... After oh dear! decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means my blue. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably standoff sort, by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition no. is indeed vampirism, okay, now which they apparently are. comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and even a sort of lycanthropy. So you see this? Through you numerous this official isn't a mirror. interactions this is, with the governing body of this secret you get through society, by pressing I have that. concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking and mired in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a Turk balk for its strictures. Indeed, they seemed impressed with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present them. Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the King's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an office Oops. in their government, a rather high <laughs> office by the sound of things. I believe I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. Aww. <laughs> he thinks he can treat this with science. Okay. Um, still going through the frickin' mansion. Oh, look! More stuff. Okay. And another audio log and another hint sheet. Okay, here we go. Chaos, like the mind, can be understood only through the scientific process. Order, however, is only as good as the perception itself. Time is the key that links these two and bears witness to their ebb and flow. So, chaos, order, and key. Chaos. I have accepted the role order, of primitive key. for Clan Malkavian. The dreadfully winsome label applied to the particular strain of vampirism I suffer. Um, so named for some supposed vampire father figure of old. More poppycock grown from a backward culture that seems interminably drawn uh -oh. to children's tales and the fiction of Victorian romance when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter. For I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention, however, that even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of paranoia and superstition is frightening. Their intelligence is not the question, no, indeed. As they courted me for this appointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand-tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil would do well to have such honey-tongued tempters. Even so, I could yep. not help but notice the dressing of language okay, these vampire way. leaders chose for their siren song. Whether it is born of habit, okay, from so I have no idea why this room exists, but basically, or from their just flip these levers. Beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith Careful, that will kill you. Over the providence of empirical reason that must be another an thing. pervasive. Uh, maybe if you were a bit more goth, you would have a clue about what this thing is. You need a research skill at least four. Wait a minute. Yeah, I know what that is. Fuck you. What is it? Tell me. Society of darkest night. Oh, there we go. Now I'm doing it too. Taruflong. Tarulfang. This heavy fang can only belong to a ferocious predatory beast. You feel at ease knowing you're one. There's one less of those in the world. Decrease your chance to frenzy. Okay, that's it. I don't, I don't know why that room exists. It barely even qualifies as a puzzle. Oh, what? But, but that's the thing! That That's kind of why this whole place is perfect. It's like, this, nothing here makes sense, and it's like, yeah! That's a Malkavian. It's built by a freaking Malkavian. Of course, it doesn't make sense. Nope. Okay, so I think that opened that door. 
No, it opened the one across the hall, so this one. We have now entered the second bottom half of Alistair Grouse Malkavian Madness Mansion. Over here you will find where he does lobotomies and shit, the fucking wacko. Um, over here there is a locked... Nope, but I can blood buff it, no problem. If I can just get blood buff, there it is. Okay, and in here we will find blood bags, including Elder Vitae, which is some of the best blood you can get in the game. That will restore your blood pool almost completely. Over here we will find an audio log and more insane ghouls. And this guy could really donate to my blood bank. Thank you for your donation. Aw, oh, thank you for your donation too. You can really save a life, namely mine. Possibly at the expense of yours, but that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Did I kill that one? Or was that one already dead? And after this, yep, I'm should be full after this one. Nope. Okay, I think there's an audio log here. Or just more ghouls. No, I think it's just ghouls. Dang it. Alright, that was pointless. Sorry for wasting your time. I think there's an audio log in... Oh, here's the audio log. Duh. Sorry about that, guys. As I expand my dealings with Let's the vampire going. government, I have encountered a disturbing new symptom of this affliction. Oh, one more thing. If you have the companion mod installed on, which I don't, but if you do have it installed, the thing that you will find that allows you to make companions will be in this room. So, uh, good to know. I dare not mention this symptom to my vampiric peers, for they have proven themselves true predators to whom I could be loath to reveal any sign of this. Indeed, these voices have counseled me against confessing their presence, and until I can confirm their source, I may listen. The information of the voices have given me ranges from curious to frightening. The latter case is especially true of one powerful vampire whose name I shall not commit to recording in the Interests of preservation. <laughs> uh, I'm almost positive he's talking about LaCroix. And yeah, now he's starting to become more of a Malkavian. Whoop. Out. I'll just try and maybe do a melee strike. Yeah! <laughs> No. And she says, what is going on here? It's almost like it's madness. Perfect. <laughs> Whoops, little little jump. Okay. Oops. And uh, here, there's nothing. So I guess through this door we go. Hello. Come on, come on, bring it. I said bring it, buddy. And now he built a maze. I don't know why he built a maze. I don't want to know why he built a maze, but there's a maze and a wheelchair and a dead ghoul. All right, I'm gonna go into first person mode because this will be easier to navigate. Jeez, when do I get to grout? This is taking forever! Out of range. There you go. Let's listen to what grout has to say. Ooh, morphine, that's money. The voices 
have increased in frequency and direction of late. They have begun to stay with me long after conversation has ceased and are serving as quite a distraction. I fear others are beginning to notice my preoccupation at the vampire gatherings. I am thinking again of the particular vampire of whom I spoke previously, who I dare not name for my growing fear. Nope. If the voices are to be believed, then my caution is warranted, for they speak of his blackest crimes, both past and future. More than once, I have seen the suspicion in his eyes and heard the distrust in his voice when speaking with me. The fear must register on my face, as it is all I can do in these moments to keep from crying out in chorus with the voices. And the last one. I am no longer safe. I know it. The voices you have were... proven themselves authentic, and I have okay, withdrawn this is some from Mr. the Free shit. society entirely. My absence will no doubt draw attention, but I could no longer hold my fragile composure around the ravenous eyes of my vampire peers. Especially not around him. The voices compelled me to make what I fear is a Faustian bargain. What I demand is constant and merciless. I have secluded myself within the mansion. I know he will strike out in me. He will go to any length to achieve his ambitions, and he knows it, I know. I have taken precautions to protect my beloved wife. Her cure will have to wait until our immediate safety is guaranteed. The mansion was constructed with security in mind, but at that time I was not privy to the full range of vampire capabilities. The voices echo in the twisted corridors of my psyche, dark whisperings of a macabre and formless menace, the approach of which portends an end, an end to all of this. And that's it for Strauss, that was his last rec I mean not Strauss, for Grout, that was his last recording. Because he's already dead. Staked, which doesn't kill vampires. So, possibly staked and beheaded. Well, uh, that sucks. <laughs> Ooh. Shit. What was that? What the hell was that? That's locked. Okay, this way. By the flames! Uh, Grout? I'm not Grout, you already killed him! Grout is dead? Pity it could not be by my hand. No matter. Soon your self made kings and false prophets and all who bear the mark of the beast will be washed from the earth for the coming of the Lord! Who the hell are you? Yes, you burn. Tell them it was Grünfeld Bach who sent your damned soul to that lake of fire. All agents of Satan shall return to whence they came. Let this righteous display serve as a promise to all who serve the arch fiend Lacroix. I'm coming for you, Lacroix. By the power of the Lord, I will cleanse your black soul. Yeah, whatever. And then he just runs away and his uh, fucking trench coat freaks out. Okay, so that's it. Grout is dead. This whole mission was a wash. Now I just have to get out of a burning mansion. Can't go that way. The only way down is down. With burning ghouls. Yeah, okay, this time... Oh, shit. Can't go that way. Go this way. Ghoul. Ghoul. Ghoul's on fire. They set you on fire. So... If I had celerity, I would just be running. In fact, running doesn't sound so bad. Let's just do that. I think he's following me. <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is a shit show. Oh, there's another one! Fuck! There's two! Fortunately, they're already injured, so they, they, they die pretty easily. Okay. Um, I'm lost. Ow! Uh, I hope this is the right way. I mean, it's pretty linear. Yep, this is the right way. So what you do is... Jump out that window. 
and you do a sick superhero landing, and then you just leave. And now we just go and fill in LaCroix as to the mystery of Grot's disappearance. He did. Chunk! You're alive! That guy didn't get you, I'm so happy! Something burning? Ooh, smells like someone burnt the burgers. I don't smell anything. I got an appointment with LaCroix. Uh, sure, I'll open her up for you. Jeez, I could go for one of them double-spaced burgers with the onions and the cheese and some bacon and a guacamole. Ooh. Thanks. Fuck, that actually does sound pretty good. Okay, penthouse level. Goof. Hey, LaCroix, I got some great... I mean, sorry, absolute great bad news. The still haven't news. been contacted by Grout. I thought I made it clear that you are not supposed to come back until we had heard from him. Yeah, no, he, you got that perfectly clear. There's only one problem. Grout's dead. Grout's dead? What? Yeah, and some guy named Bach set fire on his house. Nearly killed me. Bach? Every time I think he's lost the scent. So, Bach killed Grout to draw me out. Um, Bach didn't know Grout was dead. Bach is a hunter. They stalk and kill our kind to appease their god. But like many mortals, their so-called faith is nothing but a conduit through which they quench their killing urge. Who else would have killed Grout? Well, I'm gonna fuck him over, but on the way in I saw Nines Rodriguez leaving the mansion. Look at me. Are you sure it was Nines Rodriguez? Because if it was, the consequences... Do you know where this might lead? Do you really have any idea? I'm positive it was Nines. This may mean war with the Anarchs, is that right? It means... Under most circumstances, I would call a blood hunt on the murderer immediately. However, the Anarchs of this city may interpret such an action to be a declaration of war. I do not want a war with them. This decision will take some time. I need to confer with the Primogen on this. In the meantime, I've come to a decision on the Ankaran sarcophagus... And I believe that for the safety of the inhabitants of this city, we need to place the sarcophagus under Camarilla protection until its contents can be confirmed. You're becoming quite indispensable to me. So, out of all my available personnel, I'm going to entrust the retrieval of the sarcophagus to you. It was quietly delivered to the Museum of Natural History a few hours ago. Why? Uh... I'll go at once. The manifest from the Dane shows there was a small box from the same dig on board, but it was listed as missing. Keep an eye open for it. It may have been overlooked. It's crucial we get the sarcophagus in our possession within the next few hours. This, um... Uh, oh, okay. I need money. I'm broke from doing all the dirty work. Yeah, I'm feeling charitable. Yeah. Okay, so what do I do now? Here are the keys to the front door of the museum. The sarcophagus should be in an examination room of some sort. There's a small security staff on site, but I don't want a massacre. Mortals are just as easy to deceive as they are to kill. I'm gonna go. There is a degree of immediacy attached to this task. Except there Work isn't. fast. And, as on the Dane, you are not to open the Ankaran sarcophagus for any reason. Excuse me. Okay. So that is our next objective, to get the mysterious, spooky, scary, and current sarcophagus from the museum. And that's perfect, because Pisha also needs us to get her something from the museum, so I guess we're going there anyway, and Cab's right there. I'll see you guys next time when we go to the museum and get the Ankaran sarcophagus, and more importantly, that thing for Pisha so that she can give me something cool.